Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. And this show is going to be all about Hamtramck. And uh, we're going to start here on Fat Tuesday, though. And it's uh, a Patsky day, or Punchki day. My bad. Uh, but most of the show will be about this music festival. 190 artists, 24 venues. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a well-run festival. Here you get a nice view from the I-75 bridge over the Rouge River. You can see the Ambassador Bridge in the foreground and the crack in the windshield. I need to get that fixed. But uh, the bridge is going to take uh, four, four years to complete. Uh, the Wayne County Jail site is there. Okay, Lumpkin, we are getting close. Very close. St. Florian Church, this is the landmark. This is like central. But uh, yeah, they have the Strawberry Festival out here. And the number one pawn shop. If you have diamonds, they'll pay you cash. Uh, but Joseph Campo is the main fashion shopping type drag in Hamtramck. And it's a Polish enclave, and so they have a museum here, and everybody is welcome. And shop small, that's what you would be doing in Hamtramck. It's a small city enclave encircled by Detroit, and Highland Park has the north end of that. But a unique city with a lot of culture, a lot of history. They had a streetcar back in the day. And I'm checking out the Punchki line. And that line wraps around the, the corner there. So New Palace Bakery, they have the headquarters here. The Punchki headquarters. One of the 31 best donut shops. And it must be because the line is out the door. And 3 a.m. till question mark, I thought they were going to stay open till the last person was in line, which might have been me. But they closed the doors before I got there. There's some traditional flavors, and then they had some specialty, and I didn't get that in focus too good. So, But they're in a nice building here. Hamtramck's Finest. They do have some competition up the street. Uh, we'll check out another bakery here shortly. But uh, I came to Hamtramck for two things, to get the punch key, but also to buy a, a wristband for the music festival. Look at they got Bagnets to go, but they're leaving. You'd have to be quick to catch up to them. But Whiskey in the Jar, this is just off the beaten path. But they set up a, a tent in the back, and they do Fat Tuesday up. Maybe only New Orleans does it better. But here's their, their beer list. And we'll have some live music here. That is the website. There's stickers here 
and uh, they're like behind the bars, so you got to read them kind of with a grain of salt or don't let your panties get all bunched up. But, yeah, sometimes they get a little off the beaten path. But stickers are cool. And they tell you a little bit about the city. Epic fail. And then here's like the official poster. And so all these groups, including the Detroit Party Marching Band, um, maybe you're familiar with some of the groups. Here they bought them by the box full of the punch keys. familiar with that animal so you'd have to ask them at the bar the line is getting a little shorter look at this here G Mart there's like was a mini me there there's uh, the Pope and you know the they visit him trying quite often the Pope's do now this is where I got the wristband Detroit threads so they really have the hipster clothing here's the wristband for 2020 HMF $15 are you kidding me I thought well is that just for one day or what it says I don't need it for like today or whatnot and they said no that's good for the whole weekend and it's like are you kidding me $15 that is downright dirt cheap that is an awesome deal so I'm going, wow, if you're looking for something affordable, you just do that. And it's good for three days. Uh, Thursday, they only had a couple venues open. But Friday and Saturday were full bore, like from 7 in the evening till close at 1 or 2. Here's the competition uh, up the street a little bit. New Martha Washington Bakery. 10335 Joseph Campo. They got a heart shaped neon sign. So they have a line going out the door, too. So I'm just being patient. I figure I'll wait my turn. Campau Tower. And I like the building. And it says hamburgers. But I checked it out. They offer tacos now. The hamburgers were a thing of the past. It's all about the tacos. Okay, Sanctuary around the corner here, but they weren't open on Tuesday. And then here, like this, I'm pretty darn sure this is an old bank building, but look what they did here. It's like a name change. I think, it, yeah, it was a bank, but then Suey, so it might have combined with like Chop Suey. It might be... Uh, a Chinese place. See what they did there? Bank Sui. That is clever. At first I was a little slow with it. Then I put two and two together. I hear the line's getting a little shorter, just a little bit before seven. I thought, hey, they'll be open for the last cow comes home. They had a Poochki run. Um, and so this was on the Saturday. So this is the Saturday before Fat Tuesday. And look at this. This was a good deal. Two Coney Dogs and a domestic beer, only $4.50. That's a full Coney because it's got the mustard and the onions. There was a good crowd in this Baker Street on here on Tuesday. It's like an official holiday for the Polish people. Here's like their official paper. 
Yeah, they do it up. Second only to New Orleans. New Orleans knows how to do it up. But uh, I'm trying to a close second. And the best punchki, I already checked out the new palace. But yeah, they have a list. And I want to check the line. So I'm looking down the street to see if it's good to go. And uh, no, they're still working in there. 720. But there's still quite a crowd inside. And I'm sure it's a limited to supply kind of thing. Later in the day, some of the hot selling varieties would, would sell out. So I'm thinking if I came like on Fat Monday or something like that. Yeah, a mere $15 for this music festival. Are you kidding me? I just came from Austin, Texas, and they make a big deal of the South by Southwest Festival. And I'm sure they have top-notch entertainment, but I don't think you can shake a stick at $15. They probably start at $100 or $200 for a pass. But I don't know. That's how... Um, how, much, how little I know with the music industry, but I know $15 is cheap. And check out some of the, uh, the bands. I'm going to get into the bands a little bit uh, more later. But I got my wristband walking by the church. They are open here. Now, the, li uh, the line was on the inside, and I waited inside for a while, and the line moved like three feet in like 10 minutes and I said okay well I'm gonna go a little more exploring here so I went across or around the block saw a nice church instead of standing in line I wanted to check out some some of the hood so here's a nice mural here yeah I'm on Kniff now and this is the planet ant theater and so they got Glamway till March 15th and then another thing there and, and yeah so they had entertainment here even on this Tuesday I don't know if it was a, a special day but I get the feeling that uh, Hamtramck might have a lot of live music going on all through the course of the week and so forth but this is special special deal here with this music festival but this is just ramping up this was just Tuesday and they have a small stage over here and I was surprised they're gonna have live entertainment this guy was showing me around we have this room we have an independent comedy club in the back a comedy a club huh a bar right here and then we have a theater across the street and then we have a studio over on Joseph Campbell. Okay, nice. Yeah, the right yeah they uh, support the arts over here, which is a good deal. Oh, this is, yeah, Trump has the slogan MAGA, and I looked at that and said, that's not right. What? The, it's, it's a play on words. I think it was supposed to be Make America Great Again. Somebody uh, was just playing with them. They, they certainly can't be happy. But here, yeah, some live entertainment. There's no way of knowing how long it'll last. Outside it's sunny, but clouds roll in fast. The planes in the air every moment right up to the crash. TV anchor reports that it's worse than we first thought. The planet's still warming, the ocean's been rising, the farm's bought. You know, a week or two ago, like, wrapped that one pretty much up, and I went back initially in my notes because they're on my computer, so they're dated. And it, it's been like a year since the first like note on that one, so it's like great—a whole year of no new output. But the 
upside to that, at least in my experience, is that the way it works for me, I know, is that hopefully now there will be more. It's usually like, yeah, you have a complete dry spell and then the dam breaks and we'll, we'll have to see. Wasn't that nice too? We had the people talking and I drove them out with the first sad song. Like, These are the things I do for you, Ghostlight. They got an Antal, and then, well, here's the bakery, and I was watch, having a drink and watching the performance, and yeah, they closed up. Here are their flavors, the best in town, but yeah, <laughs> it was a little too late. Oh, yeah, that's what it looks like when it's closed. They probably sell them the next day on uh, Ash Wednesday, or I don't know how that works. All right, well, I was going to try to get the hamburger, because I'm uh, all over that kind of stuff, but they changed ownership, and they're all about the tacos, which is cool. I like tacos also, so that's what I, I'm pointing at, the, uh, the shredded chicken. My finger's getting fuddy-duddy there, but I got two of those. And so while I'm waiting, I'll check out the artwork. They have uh, things that they advertise and so forth. So we were just like near the ant hall. Uh, but yeah, here's that uh, their poster. And they need to promote this a little bit more, I think, this uh, music festival. On a national basis. I mean, if you're a 20 or 30-something, uh, $15 for a wristband to see 190 different um, music acts. You can't see them all, obviously, but uh, you go uh, bar hopping, like on a bar crawl, and they have the shuttle bus. We shall see it, and it'll take you around. But a lot of these are within walking distance of each other. So you get some fresh air. You check out the neighborhood. Yeah, I still thought, like, maybe they would open the door per chance again. But no, they're not going to do that. No, I got shut out of punch keys. I wanted to get, like, those 1,000-calorie punch keys. But uh, that's the fork through the wiener thing. And I'll get a better picture of it. Uh, the next day, but uh, this was only Tuesday, so I have to go to Chicago and head for home.
here's the giant tire, and I really think we need to make this a landmark and an attraction. How about a welcome center? Anyways, that was just Fat Tuesday, so a nice nighty night sleep. And then this is going to be on uh, the Friday night, the second night of the festival, but the first main night. And another look at the giant tire coming, heading in an easterly direction. I love trains, or, or as a rule, I love trains, but not like when they're just slowly going across like that because that could take eons and when i see the a lot of people make the u-turn and back on out of here then it's like i follow them and yeah sure enough we're gonna head up in a northerly direction here's the train stuck on the track up there but yeah we'll uh we'll go through the hood here and look at these nice homes built close to each other but they're hanging in there pretty good Back to Joseph Campo. And it's like their Main Street Hamtramck. Uh, I'm going to go for the parking, the free parking. And within eye shot of the St. Florian Church and the Dollar Tree, you can park for free at the Hamtramck Town Center. And you can do a lot of shopping here, including going to the Secretary of State. Or you can go online. They got that Express SOS. Here's one of those shuttle buses, which is a great to-do. They're free, provided by Smart, and on certain um, times, you know, you never know what kind of weather you're going to get. It was rather chilly on this particular evening, and so uh, walking around in the winter time can be uh, a little, little daunting, especially if there's like a wind factor. That adds to it. Here they have a, a thing for the Pope, I believe, and that's him preaching to the masses uh, out here. But Pope John Paul II, and it's when he was here, I guess, September 19th of 1987. And there's uh, another memorial north yet, so they got bookend memorials. Here's a checkers... And it, this is a red light district to be sure. I like the uh, the Art Deco look. And the red light theme is carried throughout. But yeah, Ham Tramick is a little bit of a... Uh, uh, I wouldn't say they're... They're edgy, let's put it that way. But it's a very diverse, culturally, ethnic mixed community. It's just like... And they have a good art scene here. And obviously, as we'll see, um, that earlier music was from uh, Fat Tuesday. But now the festival really starts. We'll get into the, the bulk of the music scene. And we'll go from, from bar to bar. And uh, they all got their own style and character, to be sure. Oh, my God. 
Okay, let the bar crawl continue here. Here's a hardware store, and you get all number of uh, goodies that are available. But I know there's one nearby because there's a music map that they hand out, which I'll show you here. Here it is, just off the beaten path, but the Painted Lady, and it's an interesting painted building. It's got a different color match here, but yeah, the Painted Lady, 2930, Jacob. And a red light district. And I think they'd prefer you using the side door. But I was close here to the front door. I said, well, see what happens. But yeah, the front door is right by the stage. James Link, but this is the schedule. So Friday and Saturday are the big days. I got it listed per bar. So there's like three or four acts per bar per night. Here's the map. And right now at 14 on Jacob Street. And that's, uh, we went to the new Dodge Lounge first and Painted Lady second. Here's their city logo. This is on their trash cans. But this is the side door entrance, which is preferable. They have a Dollar General. And this is kind of like their Main Street Crossroads, kind of, probably. They got a CBS Pharmacy. But the, there's a couple down the way here and another uh, red light district. And it <laughs> looks like a bar. Another bar. Go figure. They got a pharmacy nearby. Bumbos, definitely red light. Look at the nice building though. It's like if you own the, the building, you keep your residence up top and your business on the lower level. How cool is that? Looking at the neighborhood too, look at the ceiling. I like the lighting too, that's a big thing of it. Uh, when you're checking out the nightlife, uh, it's what lights up that stands out 
This, uh, well, a lot of these places are hard to get close to the stage, so I'm really fighting for a view, and, and I'm short, so my apologies, but this is the best I can do. <laughs> crowd to be sure at all of these establishments and you got to look at the schedule figure out what groups you like or you want to be here or there at a certain place I'm just going geographically what's close to each other so this is just down the street this um, a post plav hall but it's been rebought they still have the name outside <laughs> but I think, think a couple of cute little girls down there. I'm too short myself though. Okay, we're at number six right now, which is a place called the Film Lab. So they have like theater nights so you can come in and watch a film and so forth so the concept sounds really cool this is the stage they had set up so a small kind of performance kind of little cutout in the wall but yeah here at the post one i think that's polish league of athletic or veterans okay the film lab.org so this is their cocktail menu. Shaken and stirred. That must be a James Bond thing. And beer. Bottles and cans. They even off. You're probably not supposed to see this, but this is probably for the musicians and so forth. They got a, like a private room, uh, which is kind of neat. You know, have it, have it that way. I like that. And these musicians, yeah, like, um, well regarded. They have a talent to be sure, and people enjoy seeing live music, especially for fifteen dollars. Can you beat that, really? Going in and out though, the lens fogs up a lot on the camcorder, so we'll get a little bit of that. This is not my best uh, video performance. Uh, by any means, but you'll get the kind of idea of what this is all about. And uh, certainly, if you're in your 20s and 30s, um, 
that this is like a perfect event for you. And they have those shuttle buses all over the place. Here at the Port Bar, though, I missed the, the last band that was performing. So this was just, well, we're into uh, the Saturday already here. DET.com. All right. Well, we got uh, Elvis. They got some nice posters here. This one you're, you might be familiar with. And there's still a few more. She is timeless. Okay. Not to linger, but uh, then we go from there to the Beatles. Tough guy. Uh, different lighting. Another tough guy, Clint. And one of those wine posters. They have a lot of those. Um, but I wanted to check out the establishment. I think they do a good uh, business serving food here. They have different kinds of beer, Polish, the German, Belgium. And so, yeah, Hamtramck, certainly a culturally diverse city. So there's my wristband, 24 degrees. Yes, Paris, they even have a little of that going on here. A little bit, a uh, little fashion going down here and there. It could be down the way that, uh, well, shopping's kind of changed over the years. The shopping mall, people have gotten away from that. A lot of people shop at home and have it delivered, that kind of thing. But I think some of these smaller communities that have these cool little business districts, I think these will survive, these little specialty shops. All right, that's where I parked, way down there. And just again, so you don't forget, det.com is the website. A lot of self-promotion here. I should stop it, right? Oh, well, as promised, though, I told you about this. The, the world's largest uh, neon wiener with a fork through it. Kelly's Bar. Wow. Well, let's see if we can't find a parking place here. Parking's not that easy uh, in Hamtramck. The houses are close. There's not, like, garages and that kind of thing. Uh, so people park out on the streets, so... But uh, I went around the block here. We'll, uh, we'll backtrack. We'll get another look at. Uh, I'm on Lumpkin. I love the name of that street. It's like a Wizard of Oz type street name. But nice mural there. bar and they're open as luck would have it so yes the festival is still going on even though some places kind of close up a little earlier you know, this place here will we'll go to the end nice so let's check this out
stickers here also. Well, maybe not that one, but... Or that one. Well, they have stickers on the door. Let's just leave it at that. For mature audiences only, but some of them are probably uh, bands that have played here. Or some people that have a printing machine and just make stickers. I don't know. But, um, yeah, every bar is different, which is kind of fun. This, I think, is an Irish bar. That might explain the green theme. But, um, uh-oh. Ask your grandmother what that means. Then I don't know what... This was, like, over the top, so... Um, there's different degrees from the bars. You could... Different scales. And uh, this one, just by virtue of uh, the writing, even on the floor. I don't know. It's a TMI, right? Too much information, yeah. Well, anyways. But it's an interesting festival, yeah. So it's not going to be like the cultured prima donna type festival if you're doing the hamtramck music festival you have to it would be uh hamtramck music style uh can't miss acts i probably should have done my homework up there but they gave, gave you kind of a cheat sheet so this was the metro times the week of so they promoted a couple weeks in advance which is a good deal but seriously 15 dollars to see all this entertainment and if you're really into the band scene, you know going forward which the good, you know, the good bands are, the ones you want to see. You set up your schedule, you have a, a game plan, and you go after it. Here at church with a nice mural. I like the Metro Times. It kind of gives you a heads up on all the kind of cool, eccentric, wild, crazy, weird events, different things, fun things. Uh, certainly, uh, I think we need to promote the music scene more uh, in the city of Detroit. Uh, Nashville does it big time. They call themselves the the music city, and Austin, Texas, likes they like to say they are the live music capital of the world. But Detroit's got its own thing, and we got the largest neon sausage in the world. That's got to be the largest, right? And they were about ready to move out of Hamtramck, Kowalski was, but there was a public uproar. And so they stuck it out and they stuck around. So that's like a landmark to be sure. Like if we we're taking a tour of people to visit like Detroit and the cool things, like Hamtramck's cool, even though it's not officially Detroit, but we're in this together kind of thing. But Hamtramck does have it going on. And so I'm, I'm just saying this music festival has to get promoted more and kind of on a national thing. Uh, let's put this up against the South by Southwest Festival. And you can say, well, they got better entertainment. I'm sure they do, and they might have some better venues. But for raw energy, for a variety of events and venues, and for $15, how can you go wrong, especially if you're in your 20s? You know, you haven't really been around the block that much. So something new like this, you'd be like, yeah, I'm all over this. I'm cool with this. What we do need is more hotels around the Hamtramck area, though. There is a scarcity of that. But anyways, I'm going to take I-94 and route to home. Here's that great tire again. <laughs> I'm just heading home back on Telegraph Road. But, uh, yeah, urban planning can take place anywhere. And, um, geez, if we have a great event like the um, um, this Hamtramck Music Festival, and what else is going on in February? And I think this might bop around if they have it on the same week as Fat Tuesday because Easter changes every year kind of a thing so I don't know if this event is always at the end of February or if it bounces around and follows the Fat Tuesday because the 
Catholic calendar, it, it yeah, Easter is kind of funny how it changes. Two weeks every year, it, and then it cycles around. Here, Michael Moore, he cut his teeth in the city of Flint. Quite an outspoken guy, and yes, our political season has begun. Uh, it, it's just like we go from one into the next, but uh, yeah, they're talking about this pandemic. Facts were all out there. Science can start to deal with it. The, the whatever uh, inoculation needs to, whatever we need to come up with, whatever we need to invent, we can start that process. But the fact that we only have a few hundred test kits in this place or that place, that, that there, there's no effort at all. Yeah, who knows how all this is going to play out. This is, uh, yeah. Okay, sometimes you just have to turn the TV off and go to sleep, right? All right, back to Detroit. So this is like leap year... Uh, February 29th, like once every four years. Again, the giant tire, we make, need to make this a Michigan Welcome Center. We need to work on that. Okay, Detroit City Limits. And that's where I'm at here. I'm going to start at the north end of the tour. This south side is Hamtramck, but on the north side, I believe that would be Highland Park. Highland Park is another city. Well, that city needs a little more help, actually. But Hamtramck, thankfully, Pole Town is still around. Okay, 22 is where I'm at on the north end of this map. 22 is Trixie's Bar. So they have an homage to the giant wiener. Um, yeah, Trixie's. I wonder how they came up with that name. But I think it was something else before. There's a fat guy up top, and it says City Club. I'll get a better view. And this is kind of a red light district, too. So anyways, we're starting uh, Saturday night off here at the Trixie's Bar. This would be nice in the summertime. They got some chairs to sit down and relax. A little shade action out back. But yeah, you're in a you're in a neighborhood. Off in the distance, you see the moon. Kind of like a beanbag shape there. But yeah, it's, it's behind those trees. But yeah, right here, Carpenter is the north end and Main is the cross street. You get a better look at, well, not the best look. I'll get a look out front, but there's that fat guy. That's classic. All right. <laughs> Catch them in between sets, and uh, 
Yeah, they don't have much time. They got the next group has to set up, so they can't play like encores all the time. Yeah, this place was City Club before it, it changed its name to Trixie's. Here they <laughs> they're proud of all the teams that have done well throughout the years, and you can catch the uh, the Shane bus number fifty two over here. Look at this, you must pay for air. There's no way around it. You must. Jeez, hold your breath when you walk around there, huh? I think they mean something else. I'm just teasing them. All right, you can get drugs there. An infinite amount. Here I wanted to check this place out, Bar Tear. I don't know, Barter, if there's something going on with that too. Uh, there, all these places have great lighting. It's really kind of neat. And then they have like art for sale here too. So, anyways, uh, let's listen. some other place. I think that's kind of neat. I like this painting here. I think there was a price tag up top. I missed that. And they're worldly here. And so it looks like you could read a book or use the locker. And they have different chairs. So whatever suits your style, you can probably find a chair that floats your boat. A little dining room table. And then they were serving food here. It was kind of neat. Then I like the heating and cooling ventilation system, so I was tracking that all out, seeing how that works. Across the street, though, there's another place here, another red light district. And they have cocktails also, but look at the shark. Yikes. You could get eaten alive over there. All right, well, this was the menu. This looks like some fancy stuff here. And then even spicy, too. They have the Geisha girls. So I think that's how they were preparing it, which is neat. And then look at these games. We girls can do anything game. Wow. And then don't wake daddy. What's that all about? And then some standards we see. But this one, I crack up. Mall Madness. The talking shopping spree game. Wow. Maybe you have to be like tweens or something to enjoy that game, but <laughs> I wonder <laughs> what the rules of that game are. I got a sticker from these guys. Cool. The Detroit City Football Club. This is their schedule. They say Detroit's professional soccer team, but they're Hamtramck's professional soccer team. How cool is that? Hamtramck can hang their hat on that. I like their neon... or um. Their LED lights. Here, Woodward Throwbacks. They might have been here a couple years. I seem to recall that, but these guys reclaim lumber. And they're not open. It says no, but you see how they just kind of rearranged the letters there? That's clever. I like that. Next door, they have auto glass. Getting near the top of the hour, folks. I'll have to uh, continue this on next week's show, but you kind of get the idea Fifteen dollars? I mean they have music festivals all over the country and you pay a bloody fortune. Fifteen dollars? You don't have to buy a drink if you go into these places. You can just show your wristband, you get inside and you can just enjoy the the music. And so you can really get off cheap. It's not like there's a drink minimum or you know, there's a cover charge or anything like that. No no Cerie Bob. So your 20s, 30s, I'm in my 50s, and I had a great time. I really did. But if you're in your 20s and 30s and you're on a budget, 
$15 is not going to set you back. Wow. Yeah, this was a good deal. Folks, though, thanks for watching. I dive bar, and they're now serving wine. Eight dollars per glass, or by the bottle, thirty-five bucks. That seems reasonable. They got a nice chandelier here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this off though. I have to continue on. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night. Oh,